phone. Look, it literally says activate your card. Like, and you know, to activate your card, you know, you got to call up there and type in the numbers and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, I haven't seen the numbers. So okay. Completely impossible. Okay. So, all right, the first thing you want to do. Let me get this all good. Oh, you not? All right, whatever, bro. Come on. So you need this software. This is the MSR software to this. And this is how I write and delete dumps. So the so, first thing you want to do is you want to erase. You want to erase the dump. It's plugged in. You see it's on. This is obviously all fake, right? you idiots. You guys know that, right? I'm about to erase all the tracks. So if there was anything on here, it's about to get erased off right now. Okay. So you want to swipe it through here. Swipe it two more times. What the f All right, now it's completely empty. In the land of you simply cannot make this ish up, I introduce you guys to the current internet clown of the moment by the name of Punch Made Dev. Now, this gentleman will go down in the history as the world's most ridiculous, yet genius scammer the world has ever seen. Pay attention. Now, I know exactly what you guys are thinking. This level and degree of self-snitch cannot be real, can it? Well, this gentleman recently uploaded a music video where he detailed all of his escapades. I'm gonna show y'all how to hit a bank. Just pay attention, this is a quick way to jug in any state. First, you wanna get a bank log from a trusted site. Do your research because the information must be right. Within the video, he details how to scam all of these major organizations like a PayPal, as well as a cash app, using schemes such as wire frauds in extreme detail. For that, you're gonna need an RDP server. It should come with their IP, you gotta plug it in the server. This might be a little hard, but it's hard being a worker. But wait to the end of this video, because I'm telling you guys, it's gonna get a lot more sinister than that. Now, the music video that he uploaded amassed millions of views and obviously got flagged by the feds and by YouTube and was removed, especially after he did another interview with a YouTuber by the name of Tommy G that further detailed all of his escapades. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Today, we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only so you don't get scammed like people like this. So we're getting into skimmers yeah. and dumps. And dumps. what's a dump? So say if I wanted to write up a dump, right? I would get a track one, oh, uh, a 101 or a 201. 201. So I get the information off my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because it got a whole face. Like, this is the big boy one. The one right here, this is the Bluetooth one I got, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me, so. How much does this cost? Can't be no more than like 100. And how much does this major? It's like over 500K. So if someone says they're a certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They could either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they could be the person writing them up, using them. Say like, I know somebody working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through the drive-thru. To say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will quickly go like this, swipe it on the, uh, from my end, and that's when I get all the info. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. I'm about to wipe this one empty, I'm about to write up a dump on it for y'all. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this point? I know what I'm doing. You got a VPN, a proxy server, RDP. And the way someone stops this is by hitting lock on their bank account, right? Yeah. So as far as scamming goes, are you feel like you're NBA level scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron of the scammer and Michael Jordan combined. Does yeah. your mother know you're a scammer? No, nah, I tell her I do crypto. All right, so now I got the numbers plugged in. I'm about to run this through. So now I just wrote somebody else's info on here. How much money is on that card? This one got about like a $600 balance. Wherever y'all went, we're about to go get everything for free real quick. I'm about to show you how to use a clone card real quick. Easy money, man. Voila. It's like magic. All right, so what the hell just happened? We just pieced up a chip, took it into the ATM, and cleared that. You see, I got their balance right there, 430K. I'm about to wire that to this account that I got my hands on. I'm gonna try to just do a quick 10 real quick. Oh, how nice are you, Dev? You're only taking 10 racks instead of 20. 10,000. All right, let's do it. How are you? Good. I'm happy for you. I just want to make a withdrawal today, please. Yeah, no problem. Do you have your credit card? Oh, yeah, I do. Perfect. Whenever you're ready, you can have it. Okay, okay. Tommy, right. nice to meet you. Your man. So why do you think scamming's become so popular? So fast? What know. do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years, to back broke, and then you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long do you guys want to be in the game for before you're... I, I want to be like probably 30, then invest. Forever, nigga. 
310. Let me sniff it to make sure. Yeah, go ahead. What are you gonna do with this ten thousand dollars? I might uh, give it back. What's the most amount of money you ever walked out of a bank with? Seventy thousand. How did that feel? Feel good. Feel amazing. I went about a chain with it. Bring cost. That was sixteen. Sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah, from Johnny. Okay, so we're here at the Airbnb you have for the day. You're gonna show us the last scam of the day. A big wave right now is cash up. This one's going crazy. Do fifty five eight. So fifty five thousand. Literally that simple. And how did you do that? Got to pay for the size, man. But and I can cash that out. All right, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> this is what I do know. We just gave you a how-to video, how to avoid getting scammed, yeah, right? how to avoid getting scammed, educational purposes. The amount of self-snitching going on in these streets in 2023 is so absurd. Like, they're gonna be studying these Gen Zs for decades. Self-snitching or confessing to a million people that you scam and exactly how to do it is not a recipe for long-term success. In the past 10 days alone, this video has amassed a whopping 3.7 million views. This dude's need for internet clout and fame is obnoxious. Self-snitching CEO of 2023, self-snitching over 9,000. Many of the comments are talking about how completely ridiculous that this guy is and actually, a subset of these comments are actually praising the guy for what it is that he's doing. But comments like this humanize what he's actually doing. This is tough to watch. My wife has what doctors describe as a rare case of lymphoma. We just had a scammer empty our bank accounts and we're still having trouble getting it back from the bank. And because of that, we have fallen behind on a lot of our medical bills for radiation treatment, cancer prescriptions, along with other normal life financial obligations because of that. I think that we'll eventually figure it out, but people claiming that this is victimless crime don't know what it feels like to be on the other end of what is a really difficult scenario. It's pretty heartbreaking to find out that your hard-earned savings disappeared overnight and we're still feeling the repercussions and negative effects of it right now. When you read statements like this, you begin to really feel for the people that are impacted by this. One of the things that he said in his video is that like, well, it's victimless because they're gonna end up getting their money back anyway. But typically, if you get your entire account emptied out, this is not an instant transaction. I mean, I've had banks take up to two weeks to re-put funds back in my account for some bullshit that I realized that was amiss. But the plot thickens on this entire story because it appears that Punch Made Dev outsmarted us all. He does his famous cash app glitch. Mr. Dev manages to steal 55,000 in a couple seconds. So let's add that to his yearly income that he would generate if he actually does what he claims. So let us pretend that he spends more than only a couple seconds per day trying to make money. Let's pretend he does the cash app glitch for a whole two times per day. His yearly income would then be a whopping $50 million. This means that with Devin's claims, he would have made a whopping $100 million by 2025. But Dev seems to be a very nice person. He actually have a Telegram chat where he gives his fans the information on how they also can steal 55,000 in seconds. Well, let's rephrase that. He sells that information. For the small amount of only $200, you will be able to make 55,000 in seconds. Isn't he nice? He gives his followers a 27,000% return on investment. You can do it over and over again. You can basically make infinite amount of money only by giving Dev $200. That's so nice of him. But let's take a closer look at his Telegram channel. Nearly 90,000 people have joined his channel where he sells the cash app glitch. Let's say only 10% bought it. Then that would be $1.8 million, which his fans have sent to him to learn how he does the cash app glitch. Now $1.8 million is a good amount of money. You could get a loan and double it. Buy at least eight apartments to rent out. You can be set for life if you invest it. You can definitely pull out 10,000 to flex a bit for a video. You can definitely afford a nice car, cool jewelry, but that's nothing to Dev, because he is not rich from the money his fans sends him. Just listen to his claims, which totally adds up. He's actually on his way to becoming a billionaire with wire fraud and the cash app glitch. So let's see what the buyers off his cash app glitch is saying about it. It's very weird because for some reason, they're all saying that they got scammed. But why would Dev scam you for as little as $200 when he makes $50 million per year of the scams that he claims he does? 
so this guy who's obviously knowledgeable to some degree of how to scam and who markets himself as someone who scams big business and who cares about big business and them losing a, a little bit of their money on their billions and billions of dollars really has been marketing himself as that so he can set up other scammers. On some scammer inception shit, which is goddamn genius, because a scammer is not going to go to the police to tell them that they've been scammed for scamming. So this guy's really just the people's champ who 3D chess moved himself to keep the poor people who don't want to work hard for something poor or to keep the dumb people that don't want to educate themselves and gain a talent to gain utility on this planet dumber. Truly diabolical shit, but it all makes perfect sense because human beings, we function on incentives. You gotta ask yourself like, what is the incentive for you to not still behind the cloak of darkness scamming your way into oblivion and instead choose to self snitch on yourself trying to help other people understand how it is to do it. Meanwhile, you're showing the organizations how they're being scammed, so they're trying to fortify their walls or create barriers so you can no longer do it. And then you're giving your ops, the police, <laughs> federal investigators, all of the evidence, the information that you need to lock you behind bars. But see, once they investigate them, they'll turn up with nothing because it was all a ruse. It was all fake. It was just all free speech, which he's entitled to. But keep on scamming. Keep on giving the scammers the taste of their own medicine because there's nothing that I hate more. Th no, there's actually a lot of things that I, that I don't like uh, within the world. However, I cannot stand a scammer. I cannot stand a thief. I cannot stand a liar. Give them a taste of their own medicine. And guys, listen up. Let me talk to y'all real quick before we end this video. In order to have true joy, True success, true happiness within your life, you have to have a purpose. If your purpose is abyss level, downright dirty, cheating type shit, then you'll never be happy. It will always come full circle around. And see, the thing is, is that I believe in karma by proxy. What is it that I mean by that? I don't think that if you do X, Y is going to happen to you from an ethereal perspective. There's a lot of terrible human beings that lived incredibly long lives. But if you have a life around you of lying to people, keeping shitty people around you, stealing from people, always being negative to people, being abyss level thinkers around people, eventually the way that you conduct yourself in life will come back to you tenfold through your direct actions having consequences to those actions. Just as hard as you work within life to get in front of that Call of Duty machine or play your battle bit, you should be working just as hard in order to figure out who the hell that you goddamn are so you can have a skill set and talent to bring within this world. Transmute that energy. I had to do that in my early 20s as well. I had to stop the bullshit and figure out what the hell that I wanted to do. And I wouldn't say necessarily I got particularly lucky because I worked so hard in doing it, but I found out extremely early something that I can do at least initially until I started to figure out more things that I wanted to do. I had no idea I was going to be a YouTuber at this stage of my life. Had no idea. Could have never <laughs> foretold it for myself. But over time, I slowly started to figure it out. And that walk of life is way more fulfilling than cheating and scamming. All right. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Me over tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, what do you think about today's video? A little bit different than things that I put up on this channel, but I figured, hey, let's give it a shot. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.